Hey Matt, a uh, quick response here. So I want to walk you through Open Color IO because it's kind of the easiest way to do color transforms on the output, and that's what we used for a lot of our things. Um, so I told you to use a custom material pass here on the output side of things, but instead of that, let's do uh, under color conversion, you can change this to Open Color IO. And under here, you'll see uh, for the first time there's an invalid color conversion, it says, because we need to feed it this asset. So if we right click in the content browser, go to miscellaneous, open color IO configuration and create one, then you'll get a little color wheel asset like this. I'll go ahead and close out of that. Uh, when you open it, um, you need to give it the path of the open color IO config. And this can be downloaded from uh, the open color IO website. So if you come into here under downloads and just search for uh, Open Color IO. Uh, you can download um, the uh, sample configurations right here. And this is, uh, it's a couple gig, so it's a lot of 3D LUTs, uh, 2D LUTs, 1D LUTs um, that come along with it. So we don't ship it directly with the engine because uh, it's a lot of extra content. But what you need to do is browse um, to that on your hard drive and you'll see there's all the ASUS LUTs and I'm just going to use the nuke defaults uh, that come with open color IO and I'm going to point it at this config file and what that allows us to do is to uh, I'll delete these out is to go ahead and create color spaces and this allows us to do a uh, source and destination so any of the color spaces I want to use in the project I'll go ahead and flag here and by doing this um, it allows us to limit the amount of um, 3d LUTs that we have to bake into the project if we ever ship this uh, somewhere else so let's just do um, Alexa as well just so you can see some of the difference so now um, I've configured the color spaces and what I need to do is drag that into the output color conversion here and the source is linear and the destination is we want to go as sRGB and then when I click the preview button here you can see this video file now if I double click on one of these is playing with that color space so we're going out the SDI as sRGB if I change this to RE log for example now we're going out the SDI as RE log see so that's a quick and easy way uh, this is kind of a one-time thing you just set up the color spaces that you want to use in the project and then you can use this both on the input uh, if you need to convert this to linear before you key and then you can cut convert this to uh, back from linear to the destination so if you need to go out as um, Alexa uh, log C for example um, that's common in some of the film stuff anyways uh, I hope that helps cool